This was coming up uh, 145, the dream numbers, 145, like 1248. Uh, when I dug it out, it came up at 1246, which is about the size of a quarter. I'm assuming this is sterling. Came out of uh, about a 5-inch hole. The general area that I pulled out some early 1920 wheat pennies around this tree. I don't believe the school that I'm at is that old. But uh, I have managed to pull some uh, wheat pennies out of this area in the 1940s. Uh, 50s, but around this tree, uh, there were some really old wheat pennies. I was really surprised, a couple of them, and uh, I thought, well, maybe I just got lucky and got myself a dollar, or at least a half dollar, but um, I believe that's probably sterling, and I'll take that. Um, this is just as good as a quarter, and um, I'm keep hunting this little area along here and see if I can find some more unique things. Oh, hey everybody! I'm in the same area of the park. Uh, I found um, I found a uh, see a silver sterling spoon handle and two dimes, the Roosevelt Mercury, right over here. And I came back today looking with the uh, small X5 sniper coil and came across this. This was a beautiful half dollar. This was a 144 dropping to a. Uh, 747 bouncing uh, 1247. Uh, it's nice shape. It's still got the shank on the back. It's got I can barely take out the writing in the back, so I have to look this up. Looks a little different than the one that I've, I found previously, where this one's more. Uh, the other one I had was more raised. This one looks like it's a little bit more uh, recessed inside. So I have to look this one up. But um, nice find. Um, should never have been missed again like that silver spoon handle was somewhere in this general area should never have been missed because these both pop up like half dollar they're and they're not that deep so they're they're an easy uh, target that should never have been missed but I'm glad I found it yeah, a little pot pipe it says monkey pipe on the back side little plate thing fell off. I think it slides on, but... Alright. Well, I got... I know I got some silver, because I got Dave over there hunting. And, uh... I got a 1044. And I was kind of thinking it was going to be a dime. It's kind of like a little pissy here because uh, the, uh, the ground is, I don't know. You can tell when you get down to the bottom because there's rocks. And there's a lot of landfill in here. Um, the uh, the um, coins are coming out about five, six inches. And they're all like 1980s. And I did pick up a 64 penny at about that depth but I'm going to take a little walk through the park here the uh, baseball field and hopefully pick up some uh, older coins because I know that they're here um, uh, Dave has picked up a um, I think a walker here so we know that the old coins are here I picked up a Merc and a Rosie here it's just uh, gotta find the spot where there's the old dirt and not where they've uh, you know, uncovered and redid it. But that's nice. I wonder if that's a... I wonder what stone that is. Doesn't look like a diamond unless uh, I get rid of the dirt in the background. But uh, that would be sweet if it was a diamond. But um, uh, no idea. Very nice, though. Very, very nice. Probably the nicest ring I found, maybe. Well, I'm hunting with Dave, and he waved me over, so that means the farts probably found silver. Damn it. Anyways, we're in North Portland. And he's got his camera rolling. 
and uh, this is a, a 1953 school and field. Oh, thought it was a coin, but it's a pendant. It was Don's, whoever Don is. It's got to be silver. Sure looks silver. Comes in as silver. I'm pretty sure that's silver. Multnomah Falls, Columbia River Highway, Oregon. Not very cool. And when it was laying like that. The first silver of the day. Hey, I'm up here above the one. It's like 92, 95 degrees today. It sucks. And uh, I'm roaming around the uh, an old area where a nightclub was. It burned down, but uh, I kind of gave up on that area. I um, was thinking about leaving. And had a, uh, I thought I was getting a dime. Um, I picked up in the woods here, I picked up a 1941 nickel. And that is the oldest coin I've ever found here. Um, I haven't checked the date on this guy yet. But the dates go way back. This is 1917. So um, there was a nightclub here, I think in this area in 1916 it burnt down. So I'm pretty sure it was 1916. So, pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah. It's like an old deer handle knife. Pretty much rotted away the blade. Ah, uh, so those aren't uh, stainless steel, huh? Uh, back in the day, probably, I don't know, just iron, but deer handle knife. Well, I know this bottle's been here for a little while. It's kind of weird. It was wedged underneath these pieces of iron here. And I was getting a really good high tone, uh, like a 1846, you know, 1246. Good, good. And then this way, nothing. I, I've been digging those in these really odd, trashy areas. So, um, anyways, um, I'm not sure. It's got a crown around the lid, so it might be an old. It's, this bottle is he heavy. I don't. It's not that full of dirt either. It it's heavy. It's very thick. Um, probably an old Crown soda, but there's no um, there's no uh, marking or no labeling on the bottle except for the crown around the uh, top of the uh, bottle here. Anyways, uh, I like stuff like that. That's a good find for me. I only found it because of the iron and the high tone I got. So.